the day before Bob's birthday. All right. Nice. So today's episode is Bob's birthday butt. Bob's birthday butt. We're looking for him. We're aboard the Ghost Rider, and this is Central Coast Charters. If you guys follow them on Instagram, they've been doing some amazing things. It's been a hell of a season for them and they're just really getting started. They do four pack charters out of Morro Bay Landing. So if you guys enjoy what you are seeing in this video and want to do the same thing, definitely hit them up. But yeah, hopefully we can get on Bob's birthday. But Thomas, do you care if you're on camera? I don't care. Dude, happy Father's Day. Uh, thanks. This is a gift for, from, from his wife. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be the three of us and Captain Rich who uh, will be joining us here shortly target species is halibut that's what we want to target today we brought rockfish gear just in case hopefully we don't have to resort to that <laughs> what's the game plan rich I'm gonna get some lines down and see if we can pull up a little halibut Get it. Dude, Rich is hella cool. Not your average captain at all. How are you feeling, bud? I'm cool. Cool? Just the ride out was a little rough for me. Birthday butts, birthday barf. Ugh. I did puke a little bit. <laughs> so that's basically the rig right there. We got a three-way swivel. A weight is gonna go on that one swivel dangling up there and then dragging it on the bottom. We got a chrome dodger and a big old hoochie and Gonna have four rods out. Hopefully we'll hook up with a big old halibut. See what happens. That's right. So you said one pound ball on the two middle ones. Yep. And then we're gonna go two pound ball on these ones to the side. So the kicker's tied in with the throttle. So yeah, we basically have an autopilot here to where you, we're, we're uh, holding a straight heading. So we're gonna be going straight and then I'll be making these adjustments slightly. Uh, we'll turn 10 degrees this way, 10 degrees this way, just in case we go over a rock or anything. Not even have to touch the steering wheel? Yeah, not really. We might if we go over a big reef, but just gotta get the right speed dialed and try to stay between 1.2 and 1.8. Gotta drop it down really slowly, otherwise it's gonna tangle, so keep the hand on the spool. Go down to the bottom, we're out here in like 70 feet of water and take a second, get all four rods set and start trolling around. These fish kind of light lay up close to the reef sometimes, so sometimes we're playing Red October out here trying to get right in the zone, but I mean, then again, we'll lose gear occasionally, so just got to kind of be careful and watch where you're at and hope for the best. Should be able to have a few bites today. Oh yeah, you guys don't skimp either. All Phoenix rods? Yeah, nice gear. Real oh, nice gear. So we've been trolling for a good minute, but at least the rods have been bouncing right. Our presentation is there. Now it's just a matter of getting that one or two fish and just continue to duplicate and try to recreate success once we do. So that's the game plan. So when we were talking to Rich, we were like, oh man, we want kind of super, super last resort to go for rockfish. But our minds are starting to go there. <laughs> but it's still good, it's still good. We got some time. Um, tide, high tides not to like two. It's currently 8:40, so uh, we're gonna give it, give it our, our best shot. And we just haven't even covered all the water that we want to cover yet. So um, it's looking, looking good still. Super promising. We got four beautiful hoochies in the water, just moving. Rockfish should be for Jet. Oh, Uncle Jess there gets some rockfish for tonight. So I'm cool. If you want to go get them, we'll just go get them for Jess. It's all good. We got some big ones up here, dude. Oh yeah. I'm sure you guys have fished up here before. Oh yeah, the yeah. reds up here are nice. Yeah. Dude. The reds up here are nice. Yeah. We'll do, yeah, there's this one. Oh, oh. Oh. Just wind down. Is he there? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, grab yeah, real. Buddy. Nice and slow, nice and slow. You got him? Yep. Okay. Yeah. It's a rockfish. It's a rockfish. I'm gonna let it back down then. Yeah. Polina? Yeah. Yeah. So new game plan, we've really gave it. What? what? What do you think we gave three it? Three like? hours, solid. Gave it a solid three hours. Got no bites. We caught one rockfish, no halibut bites. Thinking about trying a spot where the water might be a little bit cleaner for one more pass for some halibut, but we'll switch gears and try to pick up some rockfish and lean cut now. So, 
Yeah, so we're, we're saying that we're gonna do, instead of Bob's birthday butt, we're gonna do Bob's birthday bolina, or Bob's bocaccio. That has a good ring to it. It's a red? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a big ass red. There you go, Tommy. I like that. There you go. Yep. Oh, oh shit, shit. Here, hold this, hold this, hold this. That dude, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Nice and easy. Oh. That's a ling, dude. Oh, bro, yeah. Oh, maybe. That's a nice oh, fish. A that's gotta be a ling. Or I could be another red. Red. Nice red. Nice yeah. red. Oh, he just spit out another midshipman. Oh, shit. Got another good red. Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look at you. Little pooper. Yeah, look at that belly. It's probably full of those, what are those called? The fire zones, yeah. Oh, oh my, my god. <laughs> Fat boy. <laughs> Bob's birthday blue. <laughs> Whoa. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is, dude. Yep, called it. <laughs> wow. Like. Look at that. Pyrosomes. Pyrosomes. The word of the day, kids. Like this video up for pyrosomes. Surprised nobody's made a pyrosome bait yet. Oh. Solid fish, Bob. Nice. It's Bob's favorite right there. Nice red for Bob. Yeah, that's for Jess. That's for you, Pops. All right, so we caught a good amount of rockfish right now. All on swim baits, which is really fun. Oh yeah, we'll open the cooler, show you guys. Smash them about an hour. That's about an hour's worth. Yeah, yeah. some quality, quality reds in there. And now we're switching gears we're right back to halibut. And then we'll call it a day after a really, really good drift. Or not drift, a troll. In the next hour and a half. Oh yeah, peak high tide in an hour and a half, so. Hopefully that does, that bodes well. Honestly, if it hooks up, I think you should just let Tom reel it in. I've caught halibut in my life already. I don't, you haven't caught one ever, right? No. Nope. Let, let him get the bucket fish. Oh yeah. Bucket list fish, bro. You've been catching them like no other this year. You're a, you're a beast, dude. Yeah, one. You're not allowed to catch any <laughs> today. <laughs> I haven't had one in a long time, but I've had them. Oh. Oh, 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 yo, let me see, let me see. Is that a fish? Yeah, that's a fish. That's a white sea bass. Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Yep, here. Guys, reel up the other side. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. I'll get it. Something's big. Nice, it. Hey, nice and easy, nice and easy. Put this hand up here and just slow wind, slow steady wind. Yep. I don't know if that's a sea bass or a halibut, but that's one of the two. That's what it's like. Still got him? Alright, keep going, keep going, nice and easy. Nice and easy, nice and easy. No need to rush it. Halibut. Alright, walk back. Look back and walk. Walk back and lift up. Walk back. Finally, man. Nice. Congratulations. Thanks, dude. Dude, that thing ran it. like a mother. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That is our go home fish right there, guys. Like five Heck minutes. Yeah, dude. I was literally like, all right, lines up. First Holly, baby. <laughs> First Holly. Dude, that. Yeah, that is me shaking, dude. That yeah. bite. 
like. He hit it like a beast, <laughs> dude. He had it. He hit it like a beast. Yeah. How'd that feel? Amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Dude, I thought that was a white sea bass going for the kelp yeah. when it hit, yeah. and I was like, dude, we gotta get that thing's head turned. Yeah, guys, we were grinding, grinding, grinding. We covered so much like promising water, and then right here, got Thomas's first California halibut. Made an amazing run, huh? Yep, guys. Super last man. Toads. Toads. So, what'd you guys think? Awesome. Awesome. It was good? Yeah, I really had fun. Thank you guys for coming out. Yeah. Thank you for putting us on them. Central Coast Charters guys, putting them on slabs. Check out the slabs. <laughs> and if you guys want to book a trip or you guys are going to be in Morro Bay and you want to fish like this, follow Central Coast Charters. We'll leave the link in the description. And uh, yeah, I'd just say that it was a success. Even if uh, you know the halibut weren't cooperating, we still had the option to get some meat. And uh, it was dope because we got to get Thomas on his very first halibut. That thing was uh, a last minute heroics. Last minute heroics. And we made sure that we uh, proved that that hoochie rig that uh, Rich had tied on worked very, very well. So thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed what we did. And we'll catch you guys Cheers, on the next guys. one. Cheers. Solid. Nice. Truer words have not been spoken, Bob. You're getting wise with your age. What happens when you hang out with you all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta call the fish up, bro. What does that mean? Do it, Bob. Do it. Well, we're gonna catch him now for sure. In HD, baby. 120 frames per second. Slow mo. Clam fettuccine. No.